Hey guys, it's Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. So uh, Buck's been up uh, in far north Queensland, he's uh, done a video uh, review on some of his fridges and he's been looking at the power consumption of them. And we've been talking on the phone as he's been doing his tests and all that. And I said to Buck, I said, look, I'll, I'll do one on our ARB fridge so we can get some type of comparison for you. So uh, what we've got, we've got the ARB, it's a 60 litre elements fridge. Uh, this is the one that's got a little gas strut on it. And uh, it also has uh, like a three digit code that you can use on the front of it over here. Uh, so you can lock the fridge if you wanted to. So this, uh, this fridge is actually perfect for somebody wants to put it out in the back of their ute, for example, uh, where it's exposed to the elements, anybody can come up to your fridge and open it. Uh, with the three digit code, helps lock it and secure your fridge. They also do have on them as well, a little padlock area up here as well that you can use uh, to help lock the fridge uh, with a padlock if you want to do something like that. Then they come with these secure little uh, lockdowns that actually close the fridge up. So what the plan here is, is we're going to plug this fridge in and we're going to try and let it run for around about 24 hours. And uh, we're going to use the same thing that Buck's been using. So this is one of the kick-ass meters and uh, we've got it wired a little bit differently the way that Buck had his wired up. So uh, what we've got here, if I can pull this apart, we've got uh, a cigarette lighter and that goes through to your Anderson plug and uh, plugs in this side and on the other side we've got the uh, socket there as well. So we're going to use that. Uh, it's actually interesting because the ARB fridge actually has both types of connections. So it's got your cigarette lighter and uh, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of this type of plug, but it's got that plug as well. So it's more secure if you were uh, camping and uh, you have access to that type of plug, you know, in your situation as well. So uh, yeah guys, so I'll we'll plug this into the uh, camper trailer, we'll show you it all hooked up and uh, we'll give it a go. Alright guys. Okay guys, we managed to put it into the back of the camp trailer. Uh, first time I've actually tried a fridge out in here. Well, we actually did set it up so we could put a fridge in here at some point in the future. But it uh, looks like she just fits in nice and snugly guys. Uh, look, we've turned her on. It's at 19 degrees at the moment, so we've got to let it cool down before we start running the test. So we're going to get it down to 5 degrees, same as Buck did. And uh, once we've got it down to 5 degrees guys, uh, then we'll start to uh, put the uh, little meter on it and, um, and we'll see how it goes. So come on, I'll show you what we've done. I'll just grab the camera. So what we've got here, this is our uh, uh, inverter, our power inverter, and uh, it actually has an Anderson plug which we hide just sitting down the back down over here, and uh, we have a little uh, device which we can turn it on and off with from here. Uh, so most of the time she's actually switched off. So we have two different ways of measuring this. We've got this little meter sitting up over here. So I'll be interested to, interested to see what the difference is uh, between uh, the uh, kick-ass meter, which we've got sitting here, and uh, the meter we've got sitting over there. So uh, we'll let this cool down first, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this meter and put this in between, and uh, then we're going to let the fridge run for 24 hours, and then we'll come back and we'll open up tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how she went, hey? Hey guys, we're back. This is uh, day two. So uh, yesterday we um, put the uh, fridge into the camp trailer here and uh, we set it up and uh, we've been running it for, I think it's around about 15 hours it's been going for. And uh, so we're gonna go and have a look and see how it's been going. So, uh, so we'll open up the camp trailer. release the door. Now uh, we'll just bring the camera up here. We'll have a closer look up here. So this says that the fridge is down at three degrees. So uh, she's been running pretty cool by the looks of it. That's interesting to see that she's down three degrees. So we set that at five. So she's got a little bit cooler uh, by the looks of it as well. <coughs> um, I would have thought maybe you know in the in the um, the sun uh, that the uh, it might have got a little bit warm in there today. 
Uh, unfortunately, I had to go to work and I uh, got to lock it up. But uh, three degrees, that's um, quite interesting. Uh, I should point out before we continue, hey, <clears throat> we did plug this into mains power uh, here. Uh, what the way this actually works in this setup is we go in here via mains power and then that goes over here to the M300 meter and what that guy does is that just serves to charge the batteries, charge the 12 volt battery. So we're still actually running this on 12 volt guys, but I thought I'd just point that out to you. The only reason I did that was just so that I, I wasn't concerned about having to get a flat battery or anything like that. We do have solar panels on it, but I'm planning to head out this weekend and I'll make sure she's fully charged for us for our trip. So. Uh, all right, so over here's our little meter, and what have we got here? So it says 9.97 uh, amp hours, and you can see some of the current going out there, 200 milliamps, or 20 milliamps, sorry, uh, over 15 hours and 38 minutes, it says there. So we'll have to work out roughly what that works out to be. I'll put that up on the screen for you guys, so you can have a look at that. We'll just make sure that's right. So there we are, 15.38 hours, 9.97 amp hours. So uh, there we go guys. So I'll put those figures up on the screen for you and uh, you should be looking at them hopefully now and uh, you, we get some comparison there. Hopefully I'll grab some of Buck's figures as well and uh, we'll see what they look like as well on the screen for you too. All right guys, um, hope that's uh, been of interest. We're actually planning on heading out this weekend and uh, I'm doing a trip. So uh, we're gonna go out to some of the campgrounds down there in, in New South Wales and uh, we're heading down there to go and uh, do a trip down there and hopefully to review some more products for you guys as well. So hopefully next week, you guys should have a, a stack of other reviews that we can start to go through also. So uh, until then guys, we'll catch you next episode.